Hey, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Nick. I am a stylist based here in Australia. The purpose of my channel is to discuss all things fashion and most importantly, help you build your personal style. Today's video, I'm going to tell you my five tips to help you build your spring wardrobe. Spring is a great time of year. It is a really good opportunity for you to look at your wardrobe, figure out what doesn't serve you anymore, get rid of it, and look at ways that you can develop your personal style more. It's a really good opportunity to reevaluate where your personal style is, especially as months get warmer. So today I thought I would quickly discuss with you my five top tips for helping you figure out your style for the spring and summer seasons. Okay, the first thing that you really want to consider when you're looking at your spring summer wardrobe is color. Now we've gone through the cold months of the year where we typically wear darker, moodier colors. We're now in a situation where we're a little bit more active, it's warmer, we're going to have our freedom day soon if you're watching from Australia and having color or lighter items in your wardrobe can really just lighten up and elevate your look. Have a think about what colors you'd like to add. The colors that I've seen at the moment that are really popular are like blues, yellows, purples, green. There's just so many colors that you can add to your wardrobe. The good thing about actually having a central color within your wardrobe, it helps you make really good decisions when you're shopping as well. For example, like I have a, what I would call my brand, which has a color palette of white, beige, tan, burgundy, and black. And what I have found since actually condensing and having structure around the colors that I wear is that I don't necessarily go out there and just randomly buy things that don't suit me or don't serve a purpose. I feel that if you don't have some sort of structure around that, you leave yourself open to buying things that may not necessarily serve your wardrobe or that you may not necessarily wear. Typically speaking, 80% of our wardrobes we don't wear and 20% of our wardrobes we do. So having structure around color and identifying the colors that you want to invest in within the spring summer months will help you in the long run pick things that suit your style, help you dress quicker and it will save you money. So it's really important to consider color when you're actually building your future wardrobe. <laughs> the next thing that you want to really think about with the spring wardrobe is prints. Prints are very popular in spring. We have prints such as floral, polka dot. There's so many different prints that you can add to your wardrobe. And spring summer is the best time to do it because it's an opportunity to refresh. So definitely think about prints when you are wanting to add new things to elevate your look. Another thing to consider when mapping out your spring wardrobe is fabrics. Fabrics are so important, not just in the summer months, they're just important all year round. I find in the spring and warmer months that I typically reach for cottons and linens just because they're more breathable. In Australia, it gets very hot in summer. There's nothing worse than wearing something where you feel like you're stuck in a plastic bag. It is just the worst feeling in the world. Not only that, is that when you're not wearing natural fibers, you will sweat. The worst thing in the world is being stuck in a top that is not breathable on a day that's 30 degrees plus. It is the absolute worst. So adding those natural fabrics to your wardrobe is one of the absolute musts that I would recommend to you or to any of my clients in the warmer months. My next tip is a pretty obvious one, but it's something that you definitely want to consider, is the type of footwear that you're wanting to add to your wardrobe in spring. As it gets warmer, sandals, trainers, and strappy heels are fantastic for when the weather warms up, but also a consideration as well is ankle boots, especially for those colder days as you're coming out of winter or when the weather does change. In spring, you have to be ready for interchangeable weather. It is, it's a transitional season, so you really do need to be prepared for all weather conditions. Although you'd be thinking about shoes that are going to serve you in the warmer months, my recommendation would be don't pack away those ankle boots yet because there will be days where it's downpouring and you will need them. So 
definitely consider keeping them around just as you transition through the spring season. The last tip that you would want to consider for your spring wardrobe is accessories. Accessories are applicable all year round, but what you will find that will elevate and enhance your look in the spring summer months is actually having accessories that are lighter in colour or different types of fabric. What's been very popular over the last few years uh, in the warmer months have been rattan bags or woven bags. They're fantastic for spring and summer. Also looking at lighter colours as well, which is touching on one of my previous points. Injecting colour and lighter coloured accessories can really change your look up and enhance what you're wearing. Okay, that's it for me today. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please consider subscribing if you're new here and also hitting that like button. It really does help a channel grow and puts this video in front of other people that could be potentially interested in finding this type of content. Let me know in the comments below what's your top spring tip for adding new clothes to your wardrobe and building your personal style over these warmer months. I would love to hear what you do in your wardrobe as we progress through warmer seasons. Okay, I'll see you again next time. Bye.